with the light in the darkness, the project is not to make noise. It isn't. Mm -hmm. It's actually to try and create a solution for Holocaust education and also for to you know to stop the rise of anti-Semitism. So it's kind of like two things at once. Mm -hmm. Even and basically, what I think is one of the worst things that happened to video games was how because of the fear of, of doing anything about the mm -hmm. Holocaust, no one did it. And I think that's mm -hmm. actually worse than, say, a video game doing it in not great taste, but at least acknowledge it happened during World War mm -hmm. II. And then we can kind of go from there and make better things off of it. In America, I mean, I see a rise of Nazism ha happening in, in America. And in Europe, we can notice it right away, we can, and we know yeah. what it is. But America, because they don't understand it, they mm -hmm. keep on just being shocked by it every single time. And and, mm -hmm. and that kind of talks to how you have these anchors and journalists who don't understand that. It mm -hmm. kind of talks to how possibly Holocaust education in the US, mm -hmm. I'm saying possibly because you can't do every single state, is yeah. absolutely broken. And it and it, mm -hmm. I've had educators at museums tell me it's broken. You're talking yeah. about that. So one of the most successful things in Holocaust Remembrance was, was mm -hmm. Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. Schindler's List actually changed everything. So survivors also were able to talk about it after Schindler's List. It became part of pop culture. Museums were able mm -hmm. to get funded. Like, it changed everything. And storytelling have always been the most powerful tools to get kind mm -hmm. of society to change. Politicians use it. Religion uses it. Don't tell mm -hmm. their stories. We don't mm -hmm. say who they are. Like it's just we show a bunch of dead bodies, and mm -hmm. we're like Nazis bad. They did this so quick. It did just a matter of a few years, and it shows how fast the government can kind of turn that way. And we really had to actually do our own research. We did, which nearly took us, I'd say, nearly like a whole year. Nearly. During one scene in a camp, for example, uh, Moses sees Jacob, who's one of his friends, mm -hmm. and, you know, Jacob had vanished for a while, so he asked him, where were you? And Jacob is pretty much like, well, we went to the countryside, so a bunch of people hid us, but then after a while, they're like, you have to leave. So we just mm -hmm. went back to our apartment, pretty much in Paris, and that comes from a story that mm -hmm. actually happened, which sounds absurd, right? But it actually happened. So that that is what the show Foundation was uh, useful for. Because kind of majority of things that take place in the game are kind of based on things which mm -hmm. happened very much. It's kind of a combination of so many different stories into one. And I think that's what the Times even mentioned too, is that most, um, most films don't mention what we're kind of mentioning. Like, mm -hmm. again, the refugee situation talking just a bit about how Zionism was, like all those different things, you know, films really get, you know, they like to portray things where it's more like, oh, America, great kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, or the Allies, fantastic. Well, I'm kind of, you know, just from the first scene, uh, I'm pretty much really showing that the world closed its doors on refugees mm -hmm. and kind of look what happened. And that's why I think it's... um. A lot more powerful and nearly a different kind of uh, Holocaust uh, story, which we're actually telling.